Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today is an especially awesome day because Foyer Schwanz just premiered their new single, Warriors of the World United. And we got early access to it so that we can get you a reaction and analysis video right away. Big thanks to the team over at Napalm. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for helping make this happen. And also, thank you to all of you who have been recommending Feuer Schwanz. This is going to be my first time hearing them ever. They are a German metal rock band who specializes in making songs about medieval times and uh, fantasy subjects. It sounds like it's right up my alley. Additionally, they're going to be featuring three singers, two of whom I know and adore, Melissa Bonney and Angus McFife, aka Tom Winkler. They're amazing. And then I'll be hearing Alea der Bescheidene for the first time. I may have pronounced his name wrong. Let me know in those comments below, please. I was told that I should wear this for this video, and I don't know why yet. I was also told that I should bring a drinking horn. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get to it. They have such a cool logo and sound. If we had any doubt that this was going to be an epic video, I think just by seeing all of these awesome people coming together in their awesome costumes, we know right away it's going to be amazing. I, man, is this, I think this is a hurdy gurdy. This is amazing. Uh, I thought I saw bagpipes in there too. Uh, so many cool instruments, but wow, the cost. I really want that costume. That's amazing. That's a really fantastic costume. I'm gonna go back here because there's a lot to be taking in in the first few seconds. Gorgeous setting. Makeup to me too. the combination of instruments and sounds that we're hearing. It's very surprising. I wouldn't have expected it at all. all right, you have the hurdy-gurdy in there. I think you have your bagpipes too. And then, uh, of course, we have tons of uh, electric instruments. You have guitar, bass. Um, shout out to Hans, who I know is there in the top hat, who sometimes lurks on the channel. It's nice to see you performing, even though I have already seen you yet, but haven't released the video of Dark Side of the Moon. Anyhow, you guys will see that in January. Um, this is, it's really, really cool to see um, musicians that we know performing in videos. I love that. But the combination of these instruments, along with this really epic choir in the background too, lots of uh, loud drumming as well. It's just such a big scope of sound. I love the epic feel that has been combined with folk instruments. It's such a cool combo. Okay. Back just a little bit and we'll keep going. What is that? What what's happening? It this is is this a halberd that's um, that has an instrument on it? I don't know. That looks really really cool though. <laughs> Here are soldiers stand from all around the world, waiting in a line. The battle cry All together see Victory is near 
Okay, I think that that's Alea. I think it's fascinating. This is, it's obviously a harsh vocal sound, but at the same time, it almost sounds like medieval rap or medieval storytelling in the middle of it. I think it's so interesting with the harsh vocals. A lot of times I, I associate them more with growls and gurgles. They do have words, but sometimes the words aren't as important, I think, in harsh vocal storytelling. It depends on the song, but here is the most I've ever heard them really use for that storytelling element. It's a, a hybrid between a narrator, which is just fascinating. He's really, um, really tapping into a melodic side of it. It's uh, definitely walking the line between narration, a little bit of a melody that's, or at least a, a cadence that you hear in there as well, I found fascinating. And then we had another voice come in with him in addition to Melissa Bonnie at one point. I'm gonna go back. Lots of vocals. That second voice, I want to say, might be Ben Metzner, maybe? I'm not totally sure. Um, it's not It's not Angus McFife. It's not Melissa Bonnie. It's not Alaya. There's another another guy that enters here. And it actually sounds like he's using subharmonics and the way he's, he's going down to some lows there. It's very, very interesting. Uh, it has that droning sound that I associate with subharmonics for sure. Back a little bit again. Around the world, waiting Love the choreography. In line <laughs> to hear the battle cry. All our gathered here, victory is near. The sound will fill the There's a really gravelly bringing level. power to us all. We alone are fighting for metal that is true. <laughs> we own the right to live the fight. We're here for all of you. cool set of vocalists back to back. I'm going to go back and let's talk about each one as they're, as they're coming by. So we had Alea in here. And then I think, I think that that's been afterwards. Uh, and Melissa comes in. Melissa is just, she's got a really gorgeous, natural sound. She has the ability to have warmth in that tone, some depth in it at the same time as having some cut in it. It's just it's a really good fundamental sound. It's clear. It's easy to understand. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just, I heard natural sound for me works really, really, really well. It's pretty. In a line okay. to hear the battle cry. All the here. So uh, that might just, I think that might just be some low droning. He might not, he's starting to have the kind of a rumbling of subharmonics, but I don't know if he's actually going into that just yet. Could just be some low, 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 low singing there. Victory is near. The sound will fill the hall, bringing power to us all. The moment she sings, there's so much clarity and it is powerful in a range that is fairly low for most females. I really, I dig so many elements of her voice. I feel that it is sometimes understated how good she is at so many little things in there. One more time.
I I'm sorry, John. I really love the way he transitioned, adding, you know, that cadence and then gradually making that cadence truly into a melody. But you still heard that gruffness, that transition that he did um, from a harsh storytelling into a melody was really, uh, it seems really well planned, really well thought out, really well executed, all of the above. And then of course we have Angus with fight. To live the fight, we're here for all of you. Upon your steel We'll never try Stand and fight together Beneath the battle sky Really interesting to me to hear Tom in those lower areas as well right there because I'm used to hearing him like really screaming high notes that are ah, out there, right? He's, he's an amazing singer. So it's fun to hear that low, uh, same approach with that harsh narration right here at the beginning, uh, probably because I know that with Tom's voice, he's likely gonna go somewhere, he's, that's his starting point. I know he's gonna go somewhere crazy later. I'm gonna back it up. The fight, we're here for all of you. Now swear the blood upon your steel. We'll never try. Stand and fight together beneath that battle sky. Such a good rhythm. I love the way the chorus is written so that you can catch it right away, which means that when they perform this for an audience, you're going to have everyone singing and just rocking along with them. I, I love the way they're trading off the different lines here. This works so well for the theme of the song too. I'm totally digging it. Um, but oh my goodness, we had another vocalist in here. So I'm going over to my handy dandy list. Maybe this is Peter. I'm not sure. Maybe I mixed Peter and Ben up. I don't know what their faces look like. This is my first time hearing them. So um, I could be totally wrong and off on things here and these names. So you just let me know, correct me, okay guys. Um, but I, I do definitely know Melissa Bonney and, and of course, the wonderful Angus McFive slash Tom Winkler. Um, and I believe that I'm pretty sure that I got Alea slash Alia right. But man, oh, there's so much that's happening vocally in the way they're, they're passing it off. I like that. Um, every time Melissa sings, I'm really struck. Uh, of course, she's the, the token female here. So that's going to make her voice stand out. Sometimes she reminds me of Amy Lee and the smoothness in the sound as well. Oh, it's very, very, very good timbre. Oh. Raise your hands into the air, we're warriors, warriors of the world. Uh -huh. Like thunder from the sky, sworn to fight and die, we're warriors, warriors. <laughs> I like the way instead of going, they will never win. They will never win. The, uh, the choice of taking win up was really cool and exciting for me. Uh, normally at the end of a phrase like that, you would go down. And so, yeah, there's an exclamatory part. <laughs> Oh 
It's so interesting to hear these voices juxtaposed against each other. They have definite characters to them. And I feel like um, with Leia's voice, you have so much gravel and there's a brightness in harsh vocals. Um, often the sound of just noise is gonna translate to be brighter than deep, low resonant notes. And the guy right after him, when he sings, he has a lot more depth in the tone, which is really cool to have them one after another. Boop. Return. And here we are again <laughs> So bring them all destruction The suffering and pain We are the hammer of the gods We are thunder, wind and rain They'll be waiting fear With swords and feeble hands With dreams to be a king too. First one to be a man I call them Does anybody else wonder? Uh, right there. I wonder if Melissa was nervous filming up there. Having filmed on, on rocks in high places before, <laughs> it sometimes can get really windy and kind of scary. And she's up there dancing and seems so confident. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, I wonder if that was scary at all. Be a man. I call them out and charge them all with a life that is a lie. And huh. Was nice. I, I just, it's so funny. Um, I wasn't sure if he'd have clean vocals, and his clean vocals are, uh, they're super dirty still. <laughs> They've got so much grit that's in them, and I, I appreciate that the harshness that's in them, and the it sounds like a weathered warrior really fits this scene. Oh my gosh. The production value of this video is fantastic too. This, the costumes, the makeup, this choreography with the fight choreo. Wow, wow, much appreciated all the effort and, and money too that went into making this happen. Those of you who are supporting this band, thank you for helping them create such an awesome video. A life that is a lie And in their final art they shall confess before they an intense look and she has more intense eyes than I do sometimes. Whew. I, I want to just point out the chorus is mostly unison, definitely encouraging that audience sing along, but you do have a harmony in there. It's a little quieter. I think that that's Melissa layering. It's, it's nice. It's very subtle. And again, that unison um, really encourages people to sing along. It encourages a feeling of brotherhood. So uh, back and then we'll keep going. If I should fall in battle, my brothers who fight by my side, gather my horse and weapons, tell my an unexpected bridge essentially um totally different tempo uh, obviously you have a much more sparse instrumentation going on it definitely makes me feel like we're in medieval times um almost like a renaissance festival moment there uh, i like the way that they've reduced it also to just acoustic instrumentation uh, again the trade-off of the voices is really intriguing. I'm gonna go if I should fall in battle, my brothers who fight by my side. He definitely has that old weathered warrior kind of sound going on. 
like the flipped R in there, it, that makes it feel a little bit more ancient to me. Oop. If I should fall in battle, my brothers who fight by my side, gather my horse and weapons, tell my family how I died. I also appreciate that they got into it sounded like a three part harmony that uh, came in right there. Uh, uh, that definitely feels again, Renaissance festival to me uh, in the approach and the harmonization. Tell my family how I died. That's a perfect, that's exciting. Until then I will be strong. I will fight for all that is real. You hear that really subtle layering again? Uh, Melissa has uh, layered herself, I think, about an octave. Oh, back, one more. Until then, I She's just her strong. here. I will fight and for that's all got her in octave real. above, very quietly. It's hard to hear. I will fight for all that is real. Nice, though. Really nice. Tom on top. Uh, that seems that seems like Tom's voice up there, uh, I, right? With that kind of almost scream sound, not not like a metal scream, but where he's hitting a high note. Got some really nice vibrato on it. It's got some piercing cry to it as well. Uh, that's awesome. I really I like the way that top note soars over. I see. Good insertion there. Yeah. A nice delay. I'm I'm confused. Did they just hug? Maybe that was a death shot, but for a moment I thought, oh, that's nice. They made up and they're friends now and they hugged. To fight and die, we're warriors. Warriors these moments where they, I think the direction was just seeing something really cool, almost like a descant on top of the chorus. We're gonna have a moment where you shine. Uh, that was, I loved Melissa's thing when she went higher there, um, really had, it's fun. I don't hear her belt as high as that sometimes. And I was like, ooh, ooh, I wanna hear some more of that. And then we had this guy, he went, oh, had a nice scream up high too. Oh, dang, maybe he was on top. That's good. That slide up to there. That's it. Sounds like, like a like a primal sound that's being ripped out of him. And then the the piercing and, and stable sound that he achieves on top after that roar. Like it's like a lion's roar that's extended on top. <laughs> I, I just did not imagine that Tom was actually going to sing that high. 
<laughs> that that's piercing high. That's still in his full voice too. It's still it's so high. What, what is it? I think he's going up to high P there. That's insane. <laughs> a little baffled by that note. That is really, really high. My mind is thinking that can't, that can't actually still be in full voice. He must be in a falsetto that's reinforced there. It's so powerful. Um, dang, dang, dang. So he's going up to a, let's see, this is a B5. Uh, for those of you who get really excited about, about numbers and letters that go together and signify notes, B5. Um, it's just a half step under a high C for a soprano. That high. It's really, really, really high. <laughs> that's that's crazy, dude. That's insane. <laughs> The cinematography on this is super cool. I just wanted to call out the um, reattack of the guitar at the end. I really liked that. The way it just is like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do this again. So I'm going to go back a little bit and then appreciate the way that they've shot this camera outro. They must be using a drone, I think. It's maybe. It's just gorgeous. Warriors, warriors of the world. Gorgeous. Yeah! That song gets me pumped. I definitely feel like I need to break out some LARP gear and go work on some sword fighting technique or maybe like go do some archery. Yeah, totally. Or we could go play some D&D &D together. Yeah, all of these things sound great and very much inspired by this song. I love the way that it feels... Like it's just celebrating nerddom. But in addition to that, it is celebrating really great musicians and really great vocalists. That last section, especially where everyone was showing off some cool stuff, was really eye opening. I feel like each of them added a thing in it that I just didn't expect. And it was taking it up, notching it up a next level, a next level. Wow. And then I love the, the sticky chorus of it that's really going to. I think beats in the heart of everybody that sees this and make them want to sing and be a warrior too. I, I think that's a really good composition. And of course, I just love the instrumentation. They are really doing a fantastic job of combining so many different elements into this epic sound that still feels very medieval, especially with that middle section. That was so interesting. So really, really cool song. You guys, if you haven't already seen this, definitely go check it out on their channel. This is Feuer Schwanz, Warriors of the World. They just, just, just premiered it. So go watch it on their channel without any of my interruptions, please, and support the band and the singers. If there are any other recommendations you would like to make, please make those in the comments down below. That's where we look for them the most. And you can find me here every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Arizona time. That's when we do live premieres and we have a cool chat room and some good community time. Also, if you want to listen to some more videos like this, I have a playlist right here. I'll see you somewhere else soon. Thanks.